Welcome to Zendat Data and Analytics. Today, we're exploring something foundational to data management, data governance models. There are three primary models widely adopted in the industry, centralized, decentralized, and federated. Each one has a unique approach to managing and governing data across an organization. Let's take a closer look. First, there's the centralized data governance model. Imagine this as a top-down approach. Policies, standards, and rules are crafted by a central governing body and then enforced across the entire organization. Think of this as a headquarters that oversees the organization's data management from a single source of truth. In a centralized model, decisions around data policies are made at the top, often by a data governance council or similar authority. This model provides consistency because it ensures everyone follows the same guidelines. But there's a caveat. Centralized governance can sometimes feel rigid, especially for teams that need a bit more flexibility. Take, for instance, critical data, maybe patient records in healthcare or financial data in banking. Often, the CRUD operations, create, read, update, and delete, are tightly controlled. By centralizing these functions, organizations ensure data quality, security, and consistency. But the trade-off, some local departments might feel that the control is too tight, slowing down their responsiveness. Now let's look at the decentralized data governance model. This model is almost the opposite of centralized governance. Here, data governance principles are loosely defined at the corporate level, typically promoted by an IT organization, and then left to the various business functions to interpret and implement as needed. Imagine an organization spread across different regions or divisions, each with its own data needs, budget, and IT support. Decentralized governance works well in this setup because it allows each function to tailor their data governance processes to local challenges and priorities. This can lead to faster decision-making at the local level, but can result in a lack of alignment across the organization. Think of it like different branches or departments all playing by slightly different rule books. They have autonomy, but without cross-program alignment, there's a risk of inconsistencies and data silos. Each team may be addressing its own data issues, but the organization as a whole may struggle to gain a unified view of data. Finally, we have the Federated Data Governance Model, a hybrid approach that combines the strengths of both centralized and decentralized governance. Here, the goal is to create a balance between standardization and flexibility. In a federated model, certain core standards, such as data policies, architecture, and strategy, are defined centrally, but the implementation is spread out across different business units, allowing them to adapt these standards to their specific needs. This model operates a bit like a collaborative team effort. Think of the central governance body as setting the playbook while each department acts as a team that adapts and executes according to its role and goals. The federated model works well for large organizations with complex structures. It emphasizes central alignment, but empowers each part of the business to take ownership of data governance at a local level. Accountability is a key pillar here. Each role, team, and level within the organization has clearly defined responsibilities when it comes to data. So to recap, centralized governance is consistent but can feel rigid. Decentralized governance provides autonomy but risks fragmentation. And federated governance strikes a balance, aiming for the best of both worlds. Choosing the right model depends on your organization's structure, data needs, and priorities. At Zendat, we help organizations navigate these choices, ensuring data governance aligns with business objectives while empowering everyone across the organization. Thanks for joining us. And don't forget to check out our other videos where we dive deeper into each model and how they can be tailored to support your organization's data strategy.